Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. 515, if you're just waking up here this morning, we all know the tropical storm Francine expected to become a hurricane later today, and we are going to feel those impacts here in Acadiana come Wednesday. Yeah, and Adam says, putting words in your mouth, Adam, this could ramp up pretty quickly. What do you got? Yeah, and that is going to be something that today we keep a very close watch on. You know, Alex, Scott, we've seen so many times in the past few years of these storms that start out in the morning time looking like nothing and then turning into a bona fide hurricane in a matter of hours. And that is expected at least in some respect with this system here. This is Francine this morning, and there's two things that give me a pause when I look at this. We have what's called the blob. And there's going to be a lot of weather terms that I use here, but I'll explain them to you. A lot of times when we start to see these storms getting underway, really starting to undergo that rapid intensification, you get the actual center of storms, and then you get this massive blob of storms somewhere dislocated from that center. And that's exactly what we have here. You'll also notice that we have right around that spin new what we call hot towers cumulus clouds building up cumulonimbus clouds that are forming these very strong thunderstorms watch within the next two hours we're going to see this really tighten up and become a much better looking system than what it is right now it's ingesting some dry air which is why the eastern side is cut off from any of those uh, thunderstorms out there these storms are going to be around for today pushing up towards the louisiana coastline but right now we are looking at just a tropical storm. This is tropical storm Francine, 65 mile an hour winds, pressure of 992 millibars, and it's drifting to the north northwest at five. Francine is expected to turn to the north and east later on today. Eventually that is going to bring it closer to the Louisiana coastline. So as we get to one o'clock in on Wednesday morning here, a category one hurricane borderline category two. By the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, 1 p.m., so 36 hours from now, a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles an hour, that's what's expected from the Hurricane Center sitting just offshore of the Louisiana coastline. Now, as mentioned yesterday, and I'm going to continue to do so, remember you want to prepare for a category above this. So for forecasting a Category 2, prepare as though this is going to be a Category 3 at landfall. Right now, the Hurricane Center has this coming ashore somewhere in Vermilion Parish over towards Marsh Island. Notice the cone has shrunk and only includes midway through Cameron Parish over towards Terrebonne Parish. But there has been an eastward trend in modeling overnight, taking this storm towards St. Mary Parish and Terrebonne Parish. So I would say even as far east as Grand Isle potentially for a landfall slot if this storm does go off to the east a little bit more. But the general idea is that it's coming our way here in Acadiana and we are going to get impacts. There are those big storms that are just off the coast. If they continue to move to the north, as modeling suggests, they should be arriving along the coast within the next two hours. We have a few sprinkles here throughout St. Landry and Evangeline, St. Martin parishes. Again, a closer look at those heavier downpours here. Marsh Island getting some rain right now. Morgan City, some sprinkles. Here we go. By 10 o'clock, that rain is now up to the, Louis, to the Lafayette area with that heavier band now setting up along the coast. And through the afternoon today, it looks to be fairly wet across the area as this rain just sets up and doesn't really move. Now, Futurecast shows that by 8 p.m. tonight, it starts to kind of fade away and we get a little quieter weather situation developing. But then we go into Wednesday morning. This is at 1030 in the morning tomorrow. Here's a hurricane just off the coast. Now, some good news is that models are now kind of seeing the wind shear acting in a negative effect for this system and bringing in drier air right as it's approaching the coastline. We're going to see if that's the case because that could help weaken it. But at this point in time, it's still a formidable hurricane here. And this is what I was talking about, that eastward movement. Look at this. Our model that yesterday was showing landfall in St. Mary Parish has shifted down to Terrebonne Parish. Still, the biggest impacts on the northwestern side with consistent rain 
very strong winds, and that would mean Lafayette southward is where we would see the biggest impacts. Now, if this goes where the Hurricane Center is forecasting over towards Vermilion Parish, that would bring a lot of those big impacts towards our area, or at least more of them. By 6 p.m., we're pretty much done with this system as it works its way off to the east here into southeastern Louisiana. So we're going to have to see these trends. Do they continue through the day today, that eastward trend? We do have a storm surge warning in place here south of LA 14 in uh, Vermilion, Iberia and St. Mary parishes for up to 10 feet of storm surge. We're also looking at that potential really focusing on Iberia Parish, but here's a look at that storm surge value. Again, the more eastward this goes, the lower the values will be, but at least for now, we are forecasting six to nine feet of storm surge here. If you're from Pecan Island over towards Freshwater City, Intracoastal City in Vermilion Parish, Iberia Parish, Erath, Delcom area. There's going to be some flooding there through the Delcom Canal. Obviously that thing floods on a stiff southerly breeze. We're also going to see flooding up the Vermilion River backwater flooding there through Abbeville uh, again, six to nine feet expected with those values. But the closer you get to that center of circulation, you see the red showing up here nine to ten feet in St. Mary Parish of flooding crossing Highway 90 surrounding Franklin and Baldwin and also down towards Calumet, Patterson, Morgan City, Berwick areas are surrounded by the levee. So that's why you see that big white area, but certainly significant flooding here expected south of that LA 14 and Highway 90 corridor from storm surge. Hurricane warning in place for our coastal areas as well, with a tropical storm warning in place for areas north of LA 14 all the way up through Evangeline and St. Landry parishes. Max wind gust, I think for much of the area, we could see up to hurricane force wind gust, if not a little bit stronger. I'm going 50 to 80 mile an hour wind gust for much of Acadiana right along the coast. We could see some 100 mile per hour wind gust as that center works its way on in. Power outages expected here, widespread, especially down towards the coast. Rainfall, another big threat. Where that center goes, we're looking at close to a foot of rain to fall. And because of that, a flood watch is in place for the area. So a breakdown of those impacts, five to 10 inches of rain or more where that center goes. Winds, we could see 74 mile per hour or higher gusts. Those are hurricane force wind gusts and that storm surge six feet or more along the coast. And that's what we're looking at right now. Obviously throughout the day, we'll be updating you as we get more information on Francine and eventually likely becoming Hurricane Francine in the next few hours. Okay. Adam, good to know. We, of course, will be checking in as you track on Morning Law. Most definitely. Thanks, Adam. Well, storm prep 